for being so fundamental. Um, there's surprisingly little consensus about how the fundamental theorem should be presented to students. Most textbooks present it as a theorem that has two parts, but they can't agree which is the first part and which is the second part. Other textbooks think it should be two theorems rather than a single theorem with two parts, the first fundamental theorem and the second fundamental theorem. We'll follow the textbook and present what it calls the first part of the fundamental theorem of calculus. With a name like that, you know it has to be good. Suppose that F is continuous on an interval from A to B. Then, as we discussed in that last video, we can use lowercase f to define a new function, uppercase f. The fundamental theorem of calculus says this is continuous. And more than that, it's differentiable. And furthermore, its derivative is just the original function, lowercase f of x. Hmm. Brief as this video has been, I don't mind that. This is important enough to deserve its own video. We'll have a video where we prove the fundamental theorem, and then we'll have some videos where we do examples.